Thank you for joining me today as we discuss everything you need to know about mixtures, especially how to separate them. Are you ready? Here we go. Which method should you use? There are several ways to separate mixtures and they're all based on the physical properties of that mixture. The physical properties will help determine which separation method is the best one to use. The first one we're gonna talk about is sifting. Sifting involves using a sieve or sifter to separate solids that have varying sizes. So a mixture of rocks, gravel, and sand could be sifted to separate that mixture. Also magnetic attraction which is a separation of magnetic material from non-magnetic material. Magnetic material includes iron, steel, nickel, or cobalt. An example of this would be separating iron filings from sand. Now let's see what that looks like. So here the student is holding a magnet and on the plate is a mixture of sand and iron filings. You can see that the magnet attracts the iron, thus separating the mixture. Evaporation. Evaporation can be used to separate mixtures as well. It involves heating the solution until the liquids turn to gases and leave the solids behind. An example of this would be boiling a solution of water and salt until all that is left are the salt crystals. So here's an example of how you can get water that you can drink from salt water. So you take the salt water and you put it in the kettle you boil the water and it evaporates. As it evaporates, you catch it with that lid with ice cubes on the top and have it drip into another beaker. This separates the salt, which will be left in the kettle, from the water that is now in the beaker. Filtration. Filtration removes solids from liquids by using a filter. An example of this would be separating sand from water through filtration. Another example would be separating noodles from water using filtration. Let me show you what this looks like. Here is a diagram of sand within the water and as you pour it through the filtration device, you can see that the sand comes out of the water and the salt water is left behind. And then the other example was noodles and water. So when you're cooking spaghetti noodles and they are done, you want to take them away from the water. And so you can use a filtration device to separate the water from the noodles. So what are those methods again? Okay, let's do a little review. The first one is sifting. Sifting is used to separate solid materials. Magnetic attraction. Magnetic attraction can be used to separate material that is magnetic from material that is not. Evaporation. Evaporation can separate solids and liquids, like water and salt. And filtration. Filtration can be used to separate liquids and solids using a filter. Here's the question for today. Which method or methods would you use or will you use if you are given a mixture of sand, water, and salt? How will you separate this mixture? So, hmm, how would you separate that mixture of sand, salt, and water? Hmm, <laughs> would it require just one method or maybe two methods? Tell your teacher how you would separate the mixture. And I know you know how to do it because we just learned all about separating mixtures. And I can't wait to hear how my students intend to separate that mixture of sand, salt, and water. Until next time, thank you for learning about mixtures with me.